Kinzer is live where that is all set up at the Southport Police Department. Emily, it just keeps growing this morning. Yeah, ladies, in the last 30 minutes, there's been a handful of people stopping by to drop off flowers and teddy bears. Let's zoom into this big teddy bear here. There was a guy who came by about 15, 20 minutes ago. I talked to him after he laid down that teddy bear because my first thought was that he knew him. He told me he didn't even know him, but he heard on TV that his nickname was Teddy Bear. He said, I had a spare teddy bear laying around, wanted to bring it just to support him and the department. Um, and that's what a lot of people have been doing as soon as his police cruiser was set outside the South Police Department yesterday. Community members and leaders have been showing up ever since to drop off flowers and stuffed animals and mementos to express their condolences. Allen was with the department he here for six years. His police, ch police chief said his nickname was Teddy Bear because he tried to act tough but was always ready to, re to respond to someone in need, just like yesterday. We talked to a man a few moments ago who had never met him but felt compelled to come out here and show his support. You can't take it every day for granted. Unfortunately, I mean, it's just the way we live. It's the way we're living right now. Sad. It's very sad. Very sad. Allen is survived by his wife and children. In total, he spent 20 years as a police officer. It's been a really somber environment, somber atmosphere here this morning, as it will be in the days and um, morning and day to come. Um, a really tragic event, really hard to find the right words to say, but one of the beautiful things is a lot of the people who are coming here didn't know him, and they're just wanting to step up and show their support. So it'll be really neat to get their reactions as the day continues of all of those people who are coming to support him and his family and the department. Well, Emily, thanks for marking the day for us with your live coverage today. Now in the wake